Well, I'm going to be. I already ate some, but um, I'm going to be eating some shrimp. I'm gonna be drinking some water. Even though I need something stronger right now. Anyway, I'm going to be dipping it in this um teriyaki Asian sauce. And I'm going to be telling you about how I almost got scammed. So basically I had um I'm selling my prom dresses, both of them, and I um put Anyway, I had put both of them on these two apps that are called OfferUp and LetGo. Now, I haven't heard anything on the um, LetGo app, but I did get something from OfferUp. And it was this guy. And uh, he texted me and basically said he was interested in buying a dress. And um, he wanted um, me to contact him. He wanted it to be shipped to... Um, Originally, he told me he wanted to be it to be shipped to Florida, and then um, the dress, the silver dress, is for one thirty, and the gold dress is for two fifty. So he said that he would pay three fifty for the shipping and stuff, and I was like, "Why would I turn that down?" You know. It is too good to be true because it's a hundred dollars more than I asked for. But anyway, um, the first thing that the app tells you on there is that if somebody he had asked me to contact him to text him whatever, and I said do you have cash app and he said um, no, we can do PayPal. Now I've never used PayPal so I didn't know anything about it, but I've heard other people use it and stuff like that. So I was like you know what fine you can't use cash app. We'll use PayPal, whatever. So, the app tells you, basically, you're getting scammed if somebody um, gets wants you to text them off the app. But, at the same time, I've had people text my phone off the app, and I've actually, I sold, um, I sold something before, and the guy texted me, and he showed up at that location, and we did the exchange of money and the product or whatever. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to pay attention to that. So the first red flag is that he was texting my phone, but texting me on the app, too. I was like, why are you texting me off of, I don't know. So then after I make the PayPal account, the second red flag was that he kept texting me. He was like, did you get it? Did you get it yet? Did you get it? Did you get it yet? Did you get it? Um... And I was like, what? So then he said, okay, give me your email address. And I'm like, why does he want my email address? But I didn't really question it because I'm like, you know what? I don't know how PayPal works, you know, wherever. And um, I give him my email address. And then I get an email. Mind you, this is at 1 o'clock. I didn't wake up until like 12. And then I go on my email and I get a notification. It's from PayPal and it's like, your password or your email or something has been updated at 10.04 a.m. How? I was asleep. I was asleep. So, I instantly changed my password. I was like, what is going on? Like, what? So then he's texting me and texting me and texting me. And um, then he's like, um, I'll do the payment. Um, on my lunch break, and I'm just like, you can text me this whole time, but when it's time for you to send the money, you gotta go and wait till after your break. What? So then I'm waiting, you know, I'm like, this is bogus in the back of my head, but at the same time, I'm like, no, like, it's legit. So then he's like, okay, did you get the payment? Check your email. So I check my email, and I get two emails. One is from PayPal. One is from PayPal, um, it's like PayPal manager, PayPal something, it was like something, um, your account manager or something. And so, I got an email saying basically like, send the, um, tracking number so that it's like, 
I'm protected, they're protected. So, like, if I don't send the dress, then I don't get the money. But if I do send the dress, I do get the money. But the way it was set up was that I was going to send the dress and the tracking number. But am I really getting paid? So, then, um, the last, um, thing that happened was I called my friend. Because she uses PayPal all the time. I was like, how does PayPal work? Like, she's like, it works just like Cash App. And I was like, so you don't need a tracking number or email, nothing. So, basically, she's like, no. So, I'm like, oh, bad. It's bad. She want to scam me. So, basically, I report the emails. I report the guy and offer up. I block him. This is why I changed my number so much. Because it's like, y'all be on some weird stuff. So, after that, I was like, I'm not about to get three. So then, um, I block, report him, everything. And then, like, a couple hours later, I get another thing from another account. And I should have known it was bogus, because it said they just made their account in December. But they didn't have a profile picture. They was like, I'm interested in this gold dress. And, you know, I didn't think of it. I was just thinking I was getting offers and stuff. So, um, that's when, um... The guy's like, I want the gold dress. Please text me with details. I was like, can we do cash out? Like, I send you half of the payment now. And then when you receive the thing, I will, um, get, you'll pay me the other half. And he was like, sure, perfect. Like, I have cash out, whatever. He said, text me again. And I was like, why does he keep wanting me to text him? Like, what? So then I text the number. And then... They was like, oh, can we use PayPal? That was the same guy. There's no way that that wasn't the same guy. So, basically, don't get scammed on offer up. Um, if I'm giving you a product and you can't use Cash App, why? They all require a credit card. Like, I don't understand. So, yeah, he tried to. So, then I reported that account. And block that number. So now I have like so many numbers blocked. And I'm going to have to change my number again. Because I don't like that. Even though I blocked him. He still proceeded to contact me. And that's why I don't like like. WhatsApp app. And those fake number apps. Because it's like. Y'all are really giving. Scammers a way to contact us. Like. The fake numbers. The. You only need Wi-Fi to, like, text and call people. It's really weird. Like, why? Like, you need that $300 that bad that you're going to make a fake PayPal account twice. They made a fake PayPal email. Like, it said that it was PayPal's head service or whatever. Like, but anyway... That's basically what happened. And then somebody else emailed me about the dress. But I don't think it has anything to do with him. Because she told me. It was a lady. And she's like her name is Alexis or whatever. So I'm waiting for her to contact me back. But you know maybe it's him too. The only reason I don't think it's him is because. I mean she did say she wanted a gold dress. But she emailed. We've been emailing. And she was like. Um. So if I die or something happens to me. Just know it's because I gave somebody my address. Basically, she hit me up, and this is the next day after all this stuff happened. This stuff happened two days ago. So then yesterday, I got an email on offer up saying, Hi, can you please email me? Um, I want the gold dress for an anniversary party, whatever. Oh, but back to the other story. Other reason why I knew is because he said that he wanted it to be shipped to Florida. But then on the email, it says ship to Texas. I was like, where do you want to ship? It, like, he never sent me an address. And it was the same address that was in the email on the PayPal manager account. And I said, you want it to be shipped to Florida? I thought he said, no, Texas, my bad. So that's how he got caught up. But then this other lady yesterday, she's like, email me. I want the gold dress for anniversary party. Um, I'll pay you $25. Can you delete it off your site? I'm not deleting it off my site until you pay me. She's like, I'll overnight a uh, money order. 
or whatever so i didn't get no money order today so maybe i'll get it tomorrow if not then but she was like um we've been emailing back and forth and stuff but she was like give me your name address and phone number so she has my name address and my my address so if i die that's why um but yeah i don't know if it's legit or not but if something happens to me that's why um you just can't trust people and scammers are everywhere now like you can literally scam people on anything like it's ridiculous so all this for a prom dress a prom dress now i guess people really like this dress because you wouldn't be trying to scam me so hard to ship it to you without paying me because he wanted me to ship him the dress without him paying me and then I give them the tracking number and then they track the package get the dress and I don't get no money or he want, me, he want the dress so he could sell it for more but if this lady is not legit I'm gonna be mad because she's like um I'll give you 250 which is the cost of the dress and she's like i'll give you 25 dollar holding fee i didn't ask for no holding fee so that on top is like why do you want to pay me extra if anybody wants to pay you extra for something it's a scam so that's what i'm dealing with right now and you can still send somebody a fake money order so whenever she sends me the money order and i cash it and it's legit then i'll ship the dress so that's basically what's going on right now. Um, yeah, and Loki makes me not want to use the app because it's just like why. But I'm so glad that I called my friend and asked her because I didn't know. So. If I hadn't called her, I would have probably been like, oh, I'm getting 350 $100 more. Um, gotten scammed. Right. That would have been tragic. But yeah. You can't trust people. I feel like the internet makes everything harder. Cause somebody's hiding behind a screen. You can use Photoshop, use other people's pictures. You can use fake phone numbers. It's just too much. Like you don't know who, what's real and what's fake. And then like the whole thing with i'm not gonna say her name but if you know you know she photoshopped her daughter into a picture and it looked real and i'm just sitting here like you can literally fake anything and then you like you see these celebrities and all this stuff but is it really real is it really real because if you can photoshop that and make it look that real then imagine everything else that's being photoshopped then the stuff that I'm dealing with right now with this dress and this scam stuff is just like so now every time somebody hits me up I'm gonna be skeptical of them because of that and like who do you think you are like oh um take the website off the dress so I can assure you're gonna sell it to me sis I didn't get no money so but yeah um Thank you so much for watching. If you didn't like this video, then give it a thumbs down.
I also forgot to mention the fact the fact that this guy asked me for pictures of the dress. So like he has several pictures of me and his phone from prom. That just creeps me out. I forgot to add that. I also forgot to oh my god. I also forgot to add the fact that the other reason why I knew it was a scam is because he sent me he was like, This is not a scam. This is what PayPal requires you to do so that the one person doesn't get scammed or whatever. And it's like, I've learned that when people tell you too much that you didn't ask to know they're lying. Like, if they tell you too much information that you didn't ask for, it's not relevant, they're lying to you. And I learned that the hard way. So basically, if I say I'm going to do... Sorry that I keep changing locations, but... Yeah, so he tried to scam me, and he has, like, pictures of me in his phone now, and it's really weird. But, like, if I, um, if somebody tells you too much information that you didn't ask for, they're guilty. Like, he was like, um, this is not a scam. I never said anything about a scam. So what are you talking about? I never said it was a scam. You just, like, I have been in a situation before when I asked somebody, had they talked to somebody, and they sent me messages and was like, um, this is the last time I talked to this person. I didn't ask you when's the last time you talked to them. I said, have you talked, did you talk to them about a specific thing? So, them telling me all that information is just like, you're guilty because I didn't ask you all of that. I asked you a simple question. Like, when people ask you yes or no questions and you come up with blah, 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 blah. I didn't ask you all that. So, more of the story, do your research. Don't get scammed. Um... Yeah, but now somebody has my address. I don't, I have not heard from her all day. So I'm just going to assume that this is another scam. I don't think it's the same person because we've been texting on email or whatever. Maybe she just doesn't have the money or whatever. But yeah, um, I didn't have pictures of the dress and the dress is sparkly. So like, even if I was to take a picture of the dress, you're not going to see the dress. Like you have to physically see the dress on to see the details. Like it has really long sleeves. Um, so it's going to look like a droopy little dress sitting on like an object or something. So I didn't want to, but yeah, his pictures of me and his phone from prom and it was a scam and I just find it really creepy and I forgot to add that in there and I forgot to add the other part in there about um, how the other reason why I knew it was a scam. Yeah, I'm just forgetful. But yeah, um, I will never use PayPal just because the whole situation just messed it up. I really felt like Cash App is easy because, like, you search up the name, type in the amount, send. And it goes just like that. So, yeah, I gotta be careful. And I didn't think it would be this difficult to freaking sell a prom dress. Like, why? But anyway, if you did not like this video, give it a thumbs down.